Okay, so with our chi-squared distribution, the actual distribution looks different than some of these other different distributions that we've dealt with. So we can remember that we've dealt with like the uniform distribution, which looks something like this. This let's label it uniform. We've got like our bell curve, right? Our normal distribution looks something like that. Well, our chi-squared, I guess let's label this. Okay, chi-squared looks like this. So this is a chi-squared and it looks like this. So it kind of comes up like this and then it tails off heavy. All right, so this is our chi-squared distribution. It, it shifts shape just a little bit based upon our degrees of freedom, but this is like the general shape. And whenever we get some chi-squared value, it's taking out the uh, it's taking our results just like it did on a normal or a uniform. It plots it off and then it finds some area under the curve. And this is how our chi-squared distribution is giving us our, our probabilities, like how weird of a result are we getting. And so this is going to allow us uh, to determine whether or not we get to reject the null hypothesis or are we going to fail to reject. Still, we are comparing against like an alpha uh, and the p-value that we get needs to be less than our alpha, just as always, to be able to reject our null hypothesis.